Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with a WBZ News Update. Top stories this Thursday. The MBTA says it has a plan to remove all the slow zones and speed up services for riders, but it's going to take time and patience from T riders. General Manager Philip Eng presented the agency's plan during a safety meeting Thursday morning. He says there is a total of 191 slow zones that have wear and tear issues, among others that need to be fixed. Eng says that they hope to remove 39 of them before the end of the year, but the remaining will be phased out by the end of 2024. Police say a five-year-old girl who was nonverbal and may have had autism has been found dead hours after she'd been reported missing. Providence police say the little girl was last seen on her family's ring camera about 11.15 Wednesday night. And police found her nearby at a park, unresponsive at 4.30 this morning after searching around her family's home on Babcock Street in Providence. The little girl was taken to an area hospital where she was pronounced dead Police are investigating. Ipswich firefighters face this tough challenge, battling an early morning fire on Northridge Road. The nearest fire hydrant was about 300 feet away, and police helped crews stretch the hoses so firefighters could get water on the flames. Just after midnight, smoke detectors alerted the two people inside to the danger. They called 911, and a firefighter went to the hospital with shortness of breath, but has been treated and released. The chief tells us the fire does not appear to be suspicious, but they will investigate. We had our first wintry mix in New England today. Will it last? We hope not. Let's get a check of the forecast now with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. We will clear out the later into the afternoon we go, but we are left right now with some pretty dreary stuff uh, as we look towards the east, towards the double diamonds of the Zakem Bridge. Not a pretty sight, but again, there is hope on the horizon. We will clear out nicely, partly cloudy skies tonight and drier conditions as we head into uh, the middle part of November. Dry November stretch ahead. The weekend is looking good with highs in the 40s. Granted, a little bit below average for this time of year, but there is very little rain in sight. No wintry mixes, no snow, no rain in the extended forecast after we get past today. Now we do still have a few areas of some dreariness, especially as you go into Boston Metro West and also towards the Cape and Islands. But inland, we do have some clearing skies and we're actually going to be left with some clearing skies into this evening. Now we're on the wrong side, unfortunately, of that warm front. It stays to the south. You know, it is almost 80 degrees in DC. It's 60 degrees in New York. Meanwhile, it's about 40 degrees in Boston and even 30s as you go outside of 495. Oh, tomorrow we wake up with the clouds and those clear outs towards nightfall and we're back to sunshine for Saturday. A bit of a cooler day, highs in the upper 40s for your Saturday with the northwest wind. We're going to be even colder Sunday, especially in the morning where highs will only get into the mid 40s on Sunday. So today we're back into the mid to low 40s. That's for Boston 30s inland for highs. It's going to be one of those days that you want to kind of put to rest as quickly as we can. Notice that southerly wind uh, along the southeastern coastline. That's where we have upper 40s and low 50s for our highs. Now tomorrow if we're able to clear the clouds out and it stays that way as we wake up, which I think we have some questions as far as when those clouds arrive. I, I, there is the opportunity that you could see Venus and a pretty cool sight with the moon there. It's going to be in the southeastern sky. But let's not get too excited because there will be clouds building back in as we go into tomorrow. We'll call it partly to mostly cloudy for much of the day on the cooler side than average. And for your weekend forecast, highs only getting into the upper 40s for Saturday, mid 40s for Sunday. And I'm also watching those morning lows. Uh, it's going to be quite cold, especially Sunday and Monday morning. But if you've kind of procrastinated a little bit, like myself, I'm looking at a mirror <laughs> right now. Uh, the weekend is shaping up to be pretty decent when it comes to taking care of any sort of outdoor chores that you may have to do. But first we have to warm up because Sunday morning, Monday morning, it's going to be mighty cold. We rebound nicely into Tuesday, but still with this zonal pattern that we have with the jet stream, no real big pushes of warm air or cold air. We just have those morning lows that will be in the mid to low twenties at times Sunday morning, Monday morning, and then we're back into the upper forties and low fifties as we go into next week. So there's your seven day forecast. Paula, back to you. Jacob, thanks. I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update.